All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson six, and students are gonna be uh, looking at those arrays and we're gonna be looking at more of the details about those arrays. We're gonna be looking at rows and uh, rows and columns and we're gonna be connecting to that, uh, those concepts to repeated addition, the idea that depending on the way we look at an array, we can either see uh, repeated addition going one way or the other way and we're just allowing our students more practice with three really important vocabulary words array rows and columns so let's get started so teachers and parents it's not a big huge deal if our students get uh, tripped up over the word rows and columns uh, this is a foundational work for third grade when it is far more important but right now uh, we're just giving our students exposure to these three really important words uh, array rows and columns so let's get started um, here we've got circle the rows okay so we're gonna circle each row and there's a row row your boat gently down the street okay so there's our three rows and we're going to fill in the blanks. Three rows of, and we're going to say three rows of four, and that's equal to 12. Now, how do we know that that's equal to 12? Well, because we have four plus four plus four, and we know that four plus four is eight, plus that extra four left over equals 12. And so just to recap, there's our little upside down triangle thing. And so the answer is 12. And similarly, if we wanted to circle the columns, we would say, okay, here's a column, here's a column, here's a column, here's a column. So we have four columns of three. And because we we're talking about the same array, this array and this array were identical. We just changed how we counted. We know that there's 12 already. And we know that the repeated addition is not a four. There's no four there. The repeated addition is going to be uh, three plus three plus three plus three, which is twelve. Now, how do we know it's twelve? Well, because three plus three is six. Another three plus three equals six. And then we're going to add those two together. Six plus six is equal to twelve. And there is our upside down uh, triangle pyramid here we're just going to do more of the same only they you'll notice they've kind of removed some of the scaffolding so we're going to look at this array of smiley faces and it says blank rows so these are the rows remember so how many rows do we have well we have three rows one row two rows three rows so we have three rows of five. Now how do I know there's five? Well, because I counted one, two, three, four, five. So three rows of five, and that's equal to 15. Now, kind of a cool thing is, this is a beautiful opportunity for us to skip count. So you've got five, five, and five. And for second graders, especially learning how to tell time, five, 10, 15, there you go, there's our 15. Now, you'll notice it says now we're supposed to switch gears a little bit and think about, uh, we're going to think about uh, columns. All right, so we're going to think about columns. And now here's our column, 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 column. So how many columns do we have? We have five columns. So I'll do it in blue. Five columns of three. We still have 15 smiley faces because the array itself never changed. Now if we wanted to change this into uh, some sort of th addition with three things, oh this is tricky, uh, we're not going to do 3 plus 3 plus 3, we're actually going to do 5 plus 5 plus 5 and that's equal to 15. And what if we were to add one more row? Alright, so if we were going to add one more row, what would that look like? Well, if we were to add one more row, and I'll, I'll put it way up at the top. There's our smiley face, and we know that we need, let's see, five of them. Two, three, four, 
five. There's our five, and we're going to create a row of smiley faces. There's our extra row of smiley faces up there. So, and then the question is, how many smiley faces are there now? So, well, we're going to take our original 15 and then count five more. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, there you go. Now, parents and teachers, the thing is, the important thing about this lesson is that we're constantly focusing on the vocabulary. Rows, columns, array, and that's really what this is. It's all contextual for us to allow our students to practice uh, this vocabulary. And lastly, it says add one more column to this new array. So if we're going to add uh, a new column to our array, let's see, we would have, we would need to add one, two, three, four more smiley faces to that new array. Now, how many smiley faces do we have? Now, if we wanted to, with this new array, we can count columns. There's a column, 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 there's a column. And you'll notice that we have repeated addition. We actually have 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. All right. And what I did was, oh, not 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. What do we have? Those aren't 6s. Those aren't supposed to be 6s. Get that out of here. What was I thinking? Those are not supposed to be 6s. Those are supposed to be 4s. So let's get that erased. Those are not supposed to be 6s. My goodness. So parents and teachers, you'll notice even the even the coach making the videos gets the columns and rows and all that sort of stuff twisted around, so don't worry about it. So this column <laughs> is a column of four. So we're going to do four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. And what I was trying to do is I was trying to stack them up. So here's a column of four, and I wanted to write my four. Here's a column of four, here's my four, etc. And I really was aiming to stack them up so that we can then pair. So four plus four is eight, four plus four is eight, four plus four is eight. Now we're going to double up. Eight plus eight is 16. Now we have 16 plus that leftover eight, which happens to be 24. And there's our answer. We'd put 24 right there. And that kind of wraps up a tongue twister of a lesson where it's second grade, module six, lesson six. The tongue t twister is where we're constantly uh, paying attention to the co rows, columns, arrays. And it is really easy for a student to look at an array and kind of get the columns and the rows all mixed up. And that's perfectly fine. And we're just letting our students work through that.